Hello everyone. Now we are going to learn about gene amplification. Gene amplification means obtaining multiple copies of specific gene. There are two methods by which we can amplify our gene of interest. The first method is in vivo. In vivo means inside the cell. In this method, what we do is we insert our gene of interest into the bacterial genome. So as bacterial genome replicates, automatically our gene of interest is also getting replicated. Ultimately, we will have multiple copies of specific gene. The other method is in vitro method. In this method, what we do is we use a PCR machine. Now, in this presentation, we are going to learn about the steps involved in polymerase chain reaction. But before going to these steps involved in polymerase chain reaction, let us understand what are the basic requirements for PCR. Our first requirement is a double stranded DNA molecule. This is 100 to 35,000 base pair long. Our other requirement is primers. There are two types of primers. One is a forward primer and other one is a reverse primer. A forward primer runs in 5 dash to 3 dash direction whereas a reverse primer runs in 3 dash to 5 dash direction. Now, these primers are actually synthetic oligonucleotides which are 17 to 30 in number. Now, these primers are complementary to the sequences which are present in target DNA. Our other requirement is four types of deoxyribonucleotides. The first one is deoxyadenosine triphosphate, deoxythymidine triphosphate, deoxycytidine triphosphate and deoxyguanosine triphosphate. Our last requirement is TAC polymerase. This TAC polymerase is a thermostable enzyme. What do you mean by thermostable enzyme? This en enzyme can remain stable at higher temperatures also. TAC polymerase is isolated from a bacterium thermos aquaticus. All these constitute the reaction mixture. Now, let us understand the step involved in polymerase chain reaction. The first step is denaturation. In this step, what we do is, we heat the reaction mixture at 90 degrees Celsius. Heating causes the breaking of hydrogen bonds. So ultimately, we will have single standard DNA molecules. Now, these single standard DNA molecules are going to act as a template strand. Our second step is annealing. In this step, what we do is, we reduce the temperature of the reaction mixture to 55 degrees Celsius. In annealing, the primers bind themselves at 3 dash end of the template strand. The third step is polymerization. In polymerization, we increase the temperature of the reaction mixture to 72 degrees Celsius. Now, this enzyme, TAC polymerase, synthesizes a new strand in 5 dash to 3 dash direction. We will also require deoxyribonucleotides. This enzyme, TAC polymerase, adds nucleotides in 5 dash to 3 dash direction. Ultimately, at the end, we have two new double stranded DNA molecules. Now this is only one cycle of polymerase chain reaction. This cycle is repeated for 28 to 30 times. Ultimately, you will have multiple copies of your target DNA. This was all about the polymerase chain reaction. Thank you very much.